Hey guys, Max Nineteen. Welcome back to another tryout. Today's tryout is on new Pokemon Snap. I've had this for a bit, uh, and I haven't gotten around to it because I purchase games and then they sit for a while. It's the point, it's the reason I make this show is because I purchase games and I just don't play them for ever and ever. So finally, getting around to this one. I got this after. My girlfriend finished Pokemon Legends Arceus. She was considering whether or not she wanted to play another Pokemon game or what she wanted to play after that. And so I bought this because I wanted to play this at some point. And just in case she wanted another Pokemon game, there would be another one on hand. She ended up playing Earthbound instead. So I have started playing this uh, uh, last night as of recording because that's how these generally work. I play the night before I record, I play my first hour or so. I played for a little over an hour, like an hour and 15 minutes is what I'm basing this on. Now, I'm not somebody who has really played the original Pokemon Snap. I, I'm i pretty sure that my friend who had an N64 had it, so I've definitely like seen it played or maybe played a little bit of it myself, but when I got a Nintendo 64 in high school, part of the, the games that I got with the 64 didn't include Pokemon Snap, so it's not one of the games I've really played much of on the Nintendo 64. But I was interested in getting it anyway because I, I'm i more of a casual Pokemon fan these days. I used to be more into it when I was in like middle school or so, um, but I haven't really consistently played in a number of years outside of getting back into the card game in high school a bit. So I've been more of a casual fan, and so a casual game uh, might be something that is good to get me back into the whole franchise a little bit, in addition to having played Legends Arceus last month. So new Pokemon Snap is pretty much exactly what you might expect it to be. You take pictures of Pokemon, um, and from what I understand, based on the original game, uh, like this is just a improved, like updated version of the concepts there, with you know changed in some stuff works, a different location, different courses, all that. It is a new game, hence the new in the title. So, you know, it's got all these different things, but like, you know, it's, it's good at what you expect it to be from my little bit of playtime. As for like the aesthetic experience, I think the music is pretty nice and the visuals are generally pretty good, except for Professor Mirror's idle pose has some dead eyes. They just stare into your soul. Rita's eyes are pretty dead looking too here. Just staring deep into your soul with her tiny little pupils. Some of that stuff um, doesn't look as good, but like overall I'd say the visuals are pretty decent. In addition to what you expect out of Pokemon Snap, it's also got some of those like expanded features that like are good to have and you might be like these probably should be there and for the most part they are you've got you know some light photo editing there's a feature for retaking pictures in a way like you take the pictures while you're on your thing and maybe you didn't quite get the framing right for like saving it and posting it to social media or whatever so you can just go back in to that and sort of like scooch it over and reframe it and zoom in a little bit or whatever to try and get that like look that you really wanted out of the photo if you know you screwed it up in you know for the one you tried to took for grading there's also things like the ability to save the photo directly to your device which takes away some of the like stuff that you look at when you look at it and just enlarge it in, in game it has like a border around it and all that but when you export it to the switch uh it doesn't have that stuff so you know there's that, and there's also the concept of just like posting it online within the game. Not to external social media, but to the sort of like in-game social media with that sort of like online interconnectivity. So like, you know, you can look at other people who online play the game, their photos through the game in, in a sort of curated manner by the game. You know, it's just sort of like things that like makes sense for a photography game in current year to have. Even if this one actually came out last year. But, you know, whatever. As for like a major negative that I've noticed, 
is that while well, I was playing TV mode, so I don't know if this differs in um, handheld mode, if like it's loading different assets, I don't, I doubt it. But the load times can be a bit long uh, from what I've seen. Like they're just a bit longer than you might expect for like going between two menus and stuff like that. They're just sort of like, why is this taking like five, 10 seconds? I don't feel like that's how long this sort of thing should take. Um, it's a bit longer than you might expect. They're not terrible, but they're just a little longer. It's for like, you know, a downside that I noticed in my like a little over an hour of play time. Otherwise, uh, the game is enjoyable. It is what you want it to be. If you're buying new Pokemon Snap, you probably already know what it is and it does that and it does it well. And that's sort of a good sign for a game if it does the thing that you want it to do well. And so for that, and because, you know, I like it and I want to play more of it, Game Pass is try out. That's, you know, that's how this works around here. Um, I'll play more, so pass the tryout. That's all I got to say about it. We'll get on to the end bits here. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're on the description, find all sorts of links, different places. Subscribe if you want to keep up with the things I do. Share the video. Leave a comment. Have you played Pokemon Snap, the new one or the old one? Tell me your experiences down there. What are your opinions on the Pokemon franchise? Maybe don't put that down there. That might be a bit too spicy, but what are they? Put them in the comments anyway. Uh, do the things, do the things. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!